So if you are thinking of moving to San Antonio, Texas and you're looking for that small town feel, well today we are going to look at one of the best kept secrets in all of San Antonio and that is the small little country town of Lavernia, Texas. It is unlike any town that's anywhere around San Antonio. You've got houses that are extremely affordable. Pretty much everything across the board is on one acre or more. Zero cookie cutter houses here. And on top of that, like I said, extremely affordable. Way more affordable than any of the other you know, neighborhoods that you can get for one acre or more anywhere else in San Antonio. So this house behind us is one that we're gonna take a look at at the very, very end. It is one of the best values that I have seen as far as a house with one acre or more in all of San Antonio. And it is outstanding on the inside. So stick around, we're gonna get into everything you need to know about Lavernia right now. So where exactly is Lavernia located? So if you're looking at the map right here of San Antonio, whole San Antonio, you look southeast and here is good old Lavernia, just southeast about 20 miles or so outside of the city. As you can see, small town here. We'll go to satellite view so that you can kind of see what you're looking at. So small town, you got Cibolo Creek that runs right north side of it. There's the dam that we're going to talk about here in just a second. As you can see, small, small town. So, you know, you got all these little neighborhoods kind of scattered throughout you know these are all the ones that i was talking about all these are like one acre little neighborhoods all these little streets going through you can just see all the space kind of in all of these different neighborhoods so you have a lot of those pretty much scattered all throughout especially on the south side this whole area right here is all those kind of one acre more you know custom home neighborhoods that you're going to find a lot of houses for sale from and then whenever you're going into town you know the different spots that we're going to talk about woodbridge farms right here this is all woodbridge farms right here right across from the high school right here you can see the football field this whole thing is the high school junior high is right in this area right here right in front of where the big football field is and you have the intermediate and the primary is right here actually it's not labeled though so this is the intermediate and the primary schools here HEB is right up here on the corner baseball fields all right here Mexican restaurant Sammy's Mexican restaurant you've got some of the little shops and boutiques are right on this main stretch of 87 and then you've got some new ones right here in front of Woodbridge Farms this is called the silos right Right here where it says DD Custom Homes. DD Custom Homes is the developer of Woodbridge Farms, and we're gonna talk about that when we go to that really, really nice house in Woodbridge Farms. And then whenever you just go, you got Woodbridge Farms right there, and then you've got a couple little shops and everything. That's where the new gym is, Silo Fit. So all that stuff. Anyways, so getting to the location. So southeast of San Antonio, like I mentioned, you know, we're a really close drive to San Antonio. You're like 20 minutes or so to get there. A lot of people that live in Lavernia are current active duty military or civilian contractors. So they'll commute into like Port Sam Houston, Lackland Air. Air Force Base, which is on the west side of town, or Randolph. Very, very common. Um, there are a ton of military veterans and active duty that live in Lavernia. A lot of other people that live here work either like on the south side of town. There's, uh, you know, a very large percentage of the uh, of the population is oil fields, so they'll be either oil field contractors. They'll, you know, go into those areas kind of south of San Antonio in the South Texas area, commute back and forth through their shifts, and then go back and forth from there. But you also have a lot of people that will, you know, drive into like Shirt, Cibolo, Selma area and then downtown San Antonio. I mean, it's it's an easy enough commute, you know, like I said, 30, 45 minutes max to get into town that you can pretty much work anywhere in town and be able to live in Lavernia with a pretty easy commute. Other thing too, it's big for people. There's only a HEB in Lavernia. Costco's in Selma right here. So you have Selma. It's about a 30-ish minute drive from Lavernia to Costco and all the shopping and everything that's right there at the Forum at Live Oak. So great, great location. You also have a couple little spots here. Bronick Lake, Calaveras, lake for fishing going out there you can just hang out on the lake not a swimming lake not a motorsports you know where you're not gonna get your jet skis go wakeboarding or anything like that on those lakes those are fishing lakes specifically but still a really cool spot again really easy drive into you know Lavernia from San Antonio and vice versa so probably the most obvious question that you have is why would you even want to live here well like I mentioned before Lavernia is kind of that literally classic like country small town and if you were looking at something like that looking for that kind of atmosphere then this is a really really good place to live I mean we're in City, City Park right now. You see the high school and all the other schools are right here behind us. You have the playground over there, Little League fields here. This is literally like Texas small town at its finest. One of the reasons that a lot of people maybe don't necessarily consider Lavernia is because it is so small. The population, if you look it up, is only 1,400 people. Even if you're looking at the population sign, it says 1,000 people as you're driving into town. But it's a little bit deceptive. So like if you're looking at Seguin or Bernie, it says it's like 20 to 25,000 people that live in those towns. But if you look at the overall population of like the school district itself, most of the people live out of the city limits. So Seguin and Bernie, you're looking at like 45 to 50,000 people in those school districts. Lavernia, you're at 16,000. So compared to 1,000 versus 16,000, it's not quite as small. There's 
still a lot of stuff that goes on in this community. Every year they have the classic stuff like the July fireworks at City Park right over here. You come out here, you sit and watch the fireworks. They have Little League opening day. They have the uh, Christmas parade where Santa literally drives around the circle that is kind of Lavernia that I showed you in that map video earlier. So there's all kinds of different things to do like and it kind of makes it the epitome of a small town. So another reason to move here is the housing. So Lavernia is known for having zero track home neighborhoods. I mean the Lenars, the Air Hortons that are building just houses just stacked on top of each other everywhere else. Granted super affordable but there's none of that in Lavernia. There is just custom homes like what you see behind me and a lot of neighborhoods on one acre or more. That is the vast majority of the neighborhoods that you'll see houses for sale in in Lavernia. One of the very very rare things about Lavernia, I don't know of any other place that is really like this that's this close to town that's kind of semi a semi bigger suburb that's you know not way way out of the city. So that is something you need to consider. Other thing too, like I mentioned a minute ago, it is incredibly affordable. So looking at those houses that are on one acre or more, you're looking at a median price point of around six hundred thousand dollars. If you're looking at like Bolverde, New Braunfels, Bernie, you're at like nine hundred and seventy-five thousand to over a million in Bernie's case for the median price point of a house on an acre or more of what's currently listed for sale. Huge, huge difference. I mean you're looking at almost half the price of a house that's on an acre or more just going across the board. Housing is extremely big draw for Lavernia itself. Now another huge reason that you would want to move to Lavernia is the schools. So I'm right here in front of the schools. We have the, the primary and the intermediate and then you also have just down the street you have the middle school and then the high school. It's all right here in the same little stretch. School rating for Lavernia ISD is 91 out of 100. One of the best rated school districts in the entire San Antonio area and a lot of people are trying to come here. You'll see whenever we're talking about the housing that there's not a lot of houses that are really for sale in the Lavernia area and when it comes to houses for rent forget that. So every Everybody's trying to get into the Lavernia ISD and the it shows there's not a single school that is an 80 uh, below an 84 out of 100. You have 84s, 86s, and then the high school itself is a 90 out of 100. Overall district, like I said, 91 out of 100. But another big kicker that is kind of new, and it's new this year actually, is the four-day school week that Lavernia is doing. And so this is getting mixed reviews from the parents, from what other people that I've talked to. But you're looking at a situation where Fridays are off every single week for every kid. That makes it challenging for parents that are both working Monday through Friday, nine to five jobs. It's like, what do you do with the kids on Fridays? And, you know, I've heard some good feedback from people saying it gives the kids a good break, but it makes the school days longer, especially for those younger kids. Those school school days are already long as it is. So adding an extra 30 minutes to an hour, I'm not exactly sure what, how much they add, but it, it can be a negative. So that's something you need to consider. Call the district, talk to them about it, see what the feedback is. One thing I do know that it has done really, really well is it has drastically increased the amount of applicants that they've had for teachers at Lavernia ISD. So you're getting a lot better selection of the teachers that are coming here to Lavernia ISD. So I think overall it's going to be a much better experience for the kids. It's just a matter of figuring out your schedules, especially for the parents out there that work a lot. That's going to be a challenge, but look into that. I think it's a really, really great opportunity and Lavernia School District is really, really good to get into. So the next question would be, what exactly is there to do in Lavernia? Well, it is a small town and to me, personally, when you get a small town like this, you're not really looking for a whole bunch of things to do. You're looking for more of the community that is involved with having such a small town like this you have the den behind us this is probably the main hub if you're gonna go do anything this is where you go but that's not what I'm gonna talk about the main reason that you come to small towns like this and what you really like to do you should be going out and building like I said the community you should be getting involved with your school you could be getting in involved the Little League with your kids you know meeting new people when you come over to the den um, at your church in your neighborhood going to block parties just those are the things that you do in small towns like this and you go down the street to your friend's house and you have game night you go out to a cookout at, for the Little League team after the season's over. You have a Bible study with your group from church. I mean, you do all kinds of different stuff like that. That's why people come to these small towns. That's what they really, really enjoy about them the most. Now, sure, there's definitely things that you can do. Like I've mentioned before, we're not that far from San Antonio. You know, you're 30, 45 minutes to get to just about anything that you need, maybe an hour max if you're going to the opposite side of San Antonio. But what you really need to focus on whenever you're looking at these places is what the community is like. And I can tell you, in Lavernia, it comes out in force. I mean, I've driven by here, driven by the den on a Friday night, and this whole parking lot, this whole place, it's got a courtyard over here where the kids can play, um, big huge tree, all this outdoor seating, they do all kinds of stuff as far as like live music and everything, come have drinks, come have dinner, let the kids run around and play with all the other kids in the community. That's what this place is about. Now, if you're looking for actually, you know, like a few restaurants that you wanna go to here, that's pretty much what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna, you know, either you're gonna go to a friend's house on Friday or Saturday night, or you're gonna decide which of the four restaurants that you like in town that you're gonna go to. So the Den, obviously being a big, big option. Texas country food. And then you also have a couple other Mexican restaurants. You have Melanie's. 
Uh, you have Angelica, Sammy's for breakfast tacos, and then uh, Alondra's for breakfast tacos too. And then you also have Caparelli's for your Italian food. And then you also have Armando's, which has some really, really good pizza. And then pretty much every other fast food restaurant that you can imagine. And then it's not Texas, of course, without barbecue. So you have Woody's Barbecue, and then just down the road in New Berlin, about 10 minutes away, you have Rabel's. And then cannot forget the most important thing about a Texas town. When you're moving to Texas, you gotta have an H-E-B close. And there's a big H-E-B that's been newly revamped right in the heart of town. So that's an easy, easy access for everybody. And then if you're looking at shopping, you don't have to go all the way into town just to get the shopping, your shopping fix done. Um, there are a ton of small town boutiques. You have Madison Lane Boutique, Love Story, Sweet Southern Soul, Dumpster Picking Divas, Munchkin Land Kids. And then if you want some actual guy stuff and you want to dress like I dress with the Western wear, the Lavernia Country Store is a good spot too. And they also have like all your dog food, cattle supplies, horse supplies. If you're going to have a ranch, you're going to have property with some of that stuff. So anything and everything that you need to survive. Of course, right here in Lavernia, never need to go to San Antonio if you don't want to, but close enough to where you can if you really need to. Now, the most important part that you're probably wanting to see is these houses, right? So that is what we are gonna get to next. So like with real estate, like I've always reminded you guys, if you have any questions at all about moving to San Antonio or moving to Lavernia, be sure you give me a call. My information is down in the description below and it is right there if you wanna email me, but call, text, email anytime, day or night, whether you're moving here in two days or two years or two weeks, whatever, give me a call, reach out with any questions at all, even if you just wanna know a little bit more about Lavernia or about San Antonio area, I'm here to help you guys with anything you need. So reach out again, especially if you're looking at some of these new builds that we're gonna get ready to check out. If you have any questions about those at all, I know about every single one of those builders, so you can reach out. I'll give you all the details that you need. Now let's get over there to Woodbridge Farms and check out that first house. Welcome to Woodbridge Farms. So the house you see behind me is a D&D &D custom home, 136 Woodbridge Court. You can just see the style that they did. It's This is definitely a more modern style, but Woodbridge Farms is known for having its kind of farmhouse style, right? Everything's got all these brick accents, the board and batten siding, and you can see the neighbor's house over here. That's a lot more like traditional farmhouse is what you would kind of typically expect. But let's go take a look inside this house right here and you'll see all the different finishes. It's kind of a mix between like the farmhouse and the modern style like this. Now, this house is a smaller house, 1500 square feet, but kicker is it's $434,000. So again, higher price per square foot, but for what the quality is that you're getting, you can already just see it from the entranceway. D&D Custom Homes is an extremely high quality builder. They does a lot of homes in the Lavernia area. They developed this neighborhood. They developed Woodbridge Farms itself. So as you walk in, you can already see you know, you've got the tongue groove right there. You've got either this eat-in area or you could use this as a study. Personally, I would probably use this as a study. You've got 12 foot ceilings here, maybe even more, maybe more like 14 foot ceilings going up. You've got a smoke detector that's got a battery out if you didn't hear that. When you come in, luxury vinyl tile, flooring, hardy tile, you know, flooring, it's a, it's a great spot. Come in here, very high quality designs throughout. You can see the thin penny, something like that. I don't know, it's something like that. Penny tile, yeah. Something like that was really cool. I love the blue color on the backsplash. And they even got a little seat here for the shower tub combo. But again, very simple, good use of space. You've got two bedrooms, front and back right here, right next to each other. 1,500 square foot house, you're not gonna get big bedrooms. So this is a house where if you're looking to get into Woodbridge Farms for the lowest price that you can, I don't believe there's another one that's lower price than this right now, especially for a new home. Built-ins, in the closets. This is a great spot if you have one or two small kids and you're looking for something that's just easy maintenance and you just wanna get into a very high quality build. Come into the living room, You've got the beams in the ceiling, which I love, the big ceiling fan, which I really like that ceiling fan, and a huge kitchen for a 1,500 square foot house. So huge use of space and something very unique that I didn't notice till we walked in here. This island is basically like a dining room table. So you look, you got seats on both sides. So you could put benches on each side, eat three. You could easily sit six people. Use this as your dining room table. Use that front space as your office. Really makes it nice all the appliances and everything. I mean, they even got the, you know, the wood. You got like a toaster oven on top and then, I don't know if that's really a toaster oven, more like a, just a small oven for baking or whatever, but all kinds of good cabinet space, soft clothes, really high quality countertops. And then another really cool spot is this little butler's pantry area with even more cabinets here. All soft clothes, all the same counters, deep drawers, laundry room right here, upgraded tile, so again, very, very, very good use of space everywhere. And then back this way, oh, let's look at the pantry real quick. Oh yeah, deep, deep farm sink right here looking out. 
you've got the neighbors so you can see we're, we're backed up to another one of those neighborhoods it's the one acre lots right there close to town that's another thing about Woodbridge that I forgot to mention it is right across the street from all the schools right across from the den so you could literally send your kids to walk down the street to the school if you really wanted to if they're a little bit older pantry really good size pantry there again modern finishes in the doors too and then when you come over here you have your mud bench area for your shoes, your coats, everything like that. And you get into your master right here. Again, not a huge space. Beams in the ceiling though, matches the living room. Decent size walk-in closet. You've got decent amount of shelving here, built-ins right there. And then really nice, good size for the size of the house. Bathroom, <laughs> double vanities, good size walk-in shower. I mean, it's really, really high quality stuff. Just and a really tight package. So this is the important thing about this house specifically. D&D builds much bigger houses. There's a lot of, you know, houses in this neighborhood. Other builders are selling lots of houses in this neighborhood too. But D&D, like I said, is the developer for here. They have a couple others that they've sold here. So you'll see some that are resales. Again, if you've got questions about Woodridge Farm specifically, let me know. I, I don't live far from here, guys. So let's go out here. Now, not a big lot. This is not a one acre lot community. Most of these are like around a quarter to a third acre. This little section in particular is what they're calling garden homes, but they're not really garden homes. I mean, if you look, you've got a good sized yard out here. It's 0.15 acres. So you're looking at around like, what is that? About 8,000 square foot lot or so, but you've got a good space back here. Um, looks like it's got sprinkler systems and everything. You've got, you know, I mean, you just look at these metal welded handrails here. I mean, high quality throughout. This is a really, really good spot. Woodbridge is an amazing community. Now, next we are going to go over to the Timbers and check that out. Welcome to the Timbers. Now this is a 112 Timber Heights. This is Joseph Creek home. So this is another custom builder that's got a few homes for sale in this neighborhood. They also sell houses over in shirts in a neighborhood called Rhine Valley, but you'll see this neighborhood is very, very wooded. As you can see, like across the street, you've got a big pond, all kinds of trees, lots of rolling hills out here, all one acre neighborhood. So this is your first look at a full tour of one of these one acre lot neighborhoods. Now this house specifically is 2,500 square feet, three beds, two and a half baths. I'll show you all the floor plan. You'll really, really like it. This one's listed right at about 700. So again, you know, still an extremely affordable house. This house up in Bernie is probably easily like eight, nine hundred thousand dollars maybe even a little bit more. Big, big entryway coming in. When you come in, you're immediately got a pretty sizable size entry here, right? And then directly to the right, we have a office. Now this builder specifically can actually do all these wood accents for you if you contract on one of their homes and want to add some of that stuff. You can see they did the herringbone tile on the floors, tall tray ceilings. You got a half bath right here at the front too. And it opens right up into your big living area here. Big living area here with the fireplace. It's actually a gas fireplace. So this house specifically has propane that they, that they added to this house. Masters that way, but let's look at the kitchen first. So big, big kitchen, big island here, lots of space, probably four or five, maybe five bar stools that you could fit here. All kinds of countertops goes all the way up. You've got the gas, gas range. You've got the oven built in with the microwave, really nice backsplash. Again, what I really like is that they sent all the counters or the cabinets all the way to the ceiling and did the glass at the top for your display, whatever you want. Big, big, big walk-in pantry on this side. And then when you come here, you have this huge, huge mud bench hall tree here. So for people that have a lot of kids, this is a great spot for that. And then you've got your big laundry room. Lots of, I mean, 2,500 square feet, but you got a lot of space. And especially with the sink in the laundry room and all the cabinets here, you've got a ton of space here. And then on top of that, you've got your quick look in here on the leaves at your three car garage at this house. So really huge garage. I mean, you could easily fit a big truck. I know I could fit my big truck in here, no doubt about it. Now let's go over to the rooms over here because not only do you have the study in the front, you got three bedrooms. So you got the study in the front, masters on that side. You got two bedrooms on this side, but you also have a game room. Glass doors getting in here. It's got its own separate thermostat in here. It's got the views out the back for the, the acre property back there. Now again, one slight negative about this house is that it backs up to another piece of property. You can clearly see that, but as both of the neighbors have done here, there's privacy fences. If you put a privacy fence back there, you would never see any of that. You just kind of have this uphill slope with these trees back here. It'll look really nice once those trees get their leaves back on them. Now, 
Over here, you've got the two secondary bedrooms. Come in, nice carpet, good sized rooms here, walk-in closets, and then what a lot of people really, really like is this Jack and Jill bathroom here. Double vanity, black fixtures here, which is really cool. Cabinets match the kitchen, and you've got a nice tiles all the way to the ceiling. Shower bath combo. I like that they took the tile all the way up to the ceiling. Not a whole lot of people will actually do that. So we'll come through to this third bedroom here. Tall ceilings throughout. These are 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors everywhere, which is a really nice touch. Just makes it feel so much bigger. You know, it's 2,500 square foot. It just feels bigger. Eat in area. Let's go over here to the master and then we'll take a look outside too. So what you'll notice when you come over to the master itself is that the room is just huge. You've got a ton of space, really tall ceilings. They did the shiplap in the tray ceiling, which is actually something I really like and kind of wanted to do to my own house. But you come in here to your massive master bathroom, big standalone freestanding tub, huge shower. I mean, massive with the bench. Also got that penny tile again on the floor, rain shower head there, and then a huge closet on the end, double vanities. And they did nice carpet everywhere too. There's, this is not construction grade carpet. This is a much higher quality carpet. You've got a ton of space in this closet. I mean, there's just room everywhere here. So let's get out now. Did a quick one run through here. Let's look outside at probably one of the reasons that you want to look at one of these houses because of that one acre lot. Another thing, huge picture windows, lots of light coming in here. I mean, those are, those are huge, huge windows. Really good sized patio as you come outside. They did the tongue and groove ceiling everywhere. You've got your outdoor kitchen, built in kitchen there. I mean, you've got an extra little patio space here, but just a ton of space out here. And like I said, you've got so much, so you've got so much space with this acre yard. I mean, the sky's the limit to what you can do out here, really. Just being able to go put that privacy fence along the back. You could fence out a small spot for your dogs if you really wanted to. You don't need to spend all the money to fence the whole thing unless you just really, really wanted to keep that extra privacy. But you've got all these trees. That's the one thing about the timbers. A lot of these neighborhoods in Lavernia are really flat. You'll actually see at the next house we go to, which in my opinion is one of my favorite houses and the newest neighborhood in Lavernia and Hondo Ridge. That house doesn't have any trees in it, but some people like that. This one has all the trees. So you have a little bit of a different variety compared to what a lot of these other houses are. So let's get after it and go look at Hondo Ridge at this last house that I'm telling you, you're going to really love that house, especially the price point. Welcome to Hondo Ridge. So this house behind us is a stunner by Eric Maywald Custom Homes. This is a beautiful, beautiful house, 2,700 square feet, four beds, three and a half baths, and it's 689,000. I'm telling you guys, this house compared to some of the other ones we've seen, especially the space that you're getting is unreal. And the quality of some of these finishes is second to almost nothing out there. I mean, you can clearly see just the crisp finishes on everything. I mean, got the white, black, clear, you know, clear as day, kind of that natural, like almost farmhouse look, but not really a farmhouse look. All the stone all the way around here, one acre lot. <laughs> And when you walk in, just immediately get this huge open field. You got the hairy bone tile on the floor, giant, you know, 10 foot ceilings going all the way up the top, double tray ceiling in the living room. You know, I said that was a big living room on that last house. This house, that is a huge living room. You've got a massive island, probably an eight foot island or so, but you could easily fit four or five bar stools across the front. But they did the island. Then they give you all this space in between all for your workspace, right? That's one thing that you see sometimes. These islands are kind of squished to where the stove and everything is, so there's not really a whole lot of space to move around. Gas in this house also. Propane uh, service out here. It's, it's, there's no natural gas lines in Lavernia. It is all propane service, individual for each house. So you gotta kind of pay attention to that, but just to give you an idea, and whenever I did mine, I live on four acres, so whenever I did my propane service where I live, it was about $300 or so, I think it was like $330 whenever I had to fill it up, and that last has lasted me over a year at this point in time, so it's extremely affordable to do propane. You can see out the back here, all the space that you have. I mean, just no trees, but at the same time, it gives you a blank canvas to do whatever you want. Put a pool back there, build a big shop, playground, dirt bike track for the kids. I mean, whatever you wanna do, you also got the fireplace here, which I don't know if this is gas or not. I think that's just a wood burning fireplace there. But again, it's just, you've got all the space. You've got a half bath right here by the front, 2,700 square foot house, like I said. You've got, you know, this could be your eat-in kitchen area or just your big dining space. I mean, it's plenty big enough for a good sized dining room table right there. And then the bedrooms, 
Bedrooms are really, really good size here. So like I said, four full bedrooms, all three of them of the secondary are over here. So you have one, two, three. You've got the main bathroom for the two in between right here. So when you come into this bathroom, what I really like about it, you got two sinks, quartz countertops, matches everything that you see in the kitchen. But then you've got this like double linen space here for extra storage. And then there's a door and close it off. That way if the kids, one needs to get in here and get ready, one needs to use the shower or the bathroom, the toilet, you don't have to argue over who's in the bathroom. You got multiple different spaces. So you have plenty of extra space for multiple kids. You can also use this front bedroom as an office. You've got big walk-in closets everywhere. Now, other thing too about this house, a lot of the other builders don't do this. Blinds everywhere and then the outside, we'll get to the outside and I'll show you, all fencing is already included in this house. So that is a huge expense. I mean, especially on an acre, you're looking at probably a $25,000 check that you'd have to write to fence the entire house. So that's already another discount that you're getting on top of this. Blinds are not cheap either. Now let's get over here to probably my favorite part. And I know it's my wife's favorite part about this house. It's the master suite. So when you walk in, garage door here, you've got a good size garage in there, two car garage, mud bench here for your coach. You can put your coat racks there, shoes up underneath there, whatever you want to put up there. Come in here to this big master bedroom in here. Also got a door going out to the big patio out there. And, and it's one of those, it's not down right now, but it's got the built-in blinds, which is always a big you know, fan favorite from, for a lot of people. But then when you come in here to this bathroom, it's very unique. You don't see this a whole lot. You've got this giant you know, cabinet in between. Use it for whatever you want. You can use it for your linens, use it for as a medicine cabinet, extra stuff. You got tons of drawers, two drawer, two rows of drawers, double vanity with lots of counter space, toilet in its own room over there, closed off. Huge, huge standalone tub on the end here. And then you walk into the massive, massive shower. I mean, marble tile on the sides, just tons of space. I'm six foot tall. You can see how much space we have in here. So really, really nice stuff. And then tile throughout, another thing to notice, huge master closet with some built-ins. And then the favorite part here is that it is attached right directly to the laundry room. So when you come into the laundry room, you've got cabinets built in, you've got some extra counter space here with extra cabinets. You've got the clothes rack, you've got a space for your walk-in or for your stand-up freezer here for whatever you need for your extra stuff for all your kids. Another spot, this would be when you know, like vacuum cleaners, brooms, more storage up there, but a ton, a ton of space in this house. And like I said, 689, it's a really, really good deal for this house. Now let's go take a look at outside. So again, another built-in blinds on the door. And then when you come out, you've got this huge patio, kind of steps down a little bit on both ends. You've already got some sod that he's put out here for you. Laverne is very sandy, you'll notice that, but that grass will grow in quickly. It's easy to, you know, to put seed out. You can get sprinkler systems put in pretty easily or just use your own, but you can get, get seed put out there and it'll grow back pretty fast. Now, like I said, you have so much space. You can see, clearly see the fence all the way around. That is not something that a lot of people, especially builders on one acre lots are gonna do because it is literally like $25,000. I've priced it out myself. It is an extremely big benefit for this house in particular. You know, I personally, you know, as far as Lavernia goes, like all of this stuff that we're seeing today is just, just outstanding for me. I mean, the small town atmosphere, country living, these houses on one acre that are, you know, 689 plus, you know, 25, $30,000 in upgrades to this house in particular. It's an extremely, extremely good buy. Looking here, schools, just the community itself, being relatively close to San Antonio, an easy drive in and out to those, you know, Air Force bases, military bases. If you are active duty military and still, trans, you know, going back and forth there. There's a lot of people here that are retired military that are, you know, civilian contractors that are, you know, driving back and forth, even to Lackland. I know of one person that just moved in here that moved over to Lackland and he's he's working over there. So a lot of great things to say about Lavernia. If you are interested in anything else, learning anything else about the suburbs of San Antonio, Lavernia is one of the best ones. Take a look at this video right here and until the next one, we'll see you there.